Hi, Excel on Mac users. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a combo chart or a combination chart. This is what a combo chart looks like. We have a column chart and also a line chart in one chart. So this is good if we want to show a series of data in a couple of different ways. So let's see how we can do this. Delete this chart, press delete. And I have my table here where I want to chart the quantity and percentage of sales. We're going to have the quantity as our column chart and our percentage of sales as our line chart. I can click anywhere in this table, go to insert, and we're going to insert the column chart. Bring this out a little bit bigger. And you can see that it's actually created two column charts by default. And as I increase the size, the first column still there, the blue one, but that second column, that percentage of sales seems to have disappeared. And there's a couple ways that we can access that particular column to turn it into a line chart. You can click on the column chart and just press tab and hopefully it will cycle through the different objects in the chart and you can see it cycle through and pick that one. And that is our percentage of sales. The other way to do it is if we click already into the chart, we've got our tabs here for chart design and format. Let me click outside of that series and click on format. And under format, you actually can choose it under here in the drop down. So it's got the different objects within the chart. And we want to look for our series of data. So we have our quantity, which is our blue chart, our blue columns. And we have our series percentage of sales, which is going to be our orange column, which doesn't show up there because the percentage is too low. If we select on that, that will also pick it. So once that's picked, now we can change that into a line chart. So with that selected, we go into chart design and we change the chart type and we can select line. Let's select line with the markers. It'll show up a little bit better. So there's another problem where it still doesn't look like you can see it very well. And that's because the first series of data is in quantity, it's in numerical series quantity. And the second series of data is in percentages. So of course, the percentage is going to be zero to, 100, 0 to 1 when you think about it. That percent, that 1, of course, is way outweighed by these large numbers there. What we can do is put this on a secondary axis. So we have our primary axis here, which is our number 0 to 800 here. We can put a secondary axis here, which will give us our percentages. These are our whole numbers. Now we can put the secondary axis as percentages. Here. So what we can need to do now is also select our series. I was able to select that. That was nice. Or you can just press tab or go into format to select it. And bring up the format pane. You can click on format pane here or you can right click any of these points now since it's selected and select format data series. It's going to bring up the format pane. If I close this, you can see if I click on the format pane here, it also brings it up. And under the series option, I want to put that on a secondary axis. And once I do that, now you have it where it looks like it's viewable, of course, and we have our axis here for our percentages, and we have our axis here for our whole numbers of quantity. We can also put labels here. So what I can do is go to chart design and add a chart element, and let's add axis titles for the primary uh, vertical, which is this one over here. I select it. I'll just type equal and point to quantity, press enter. So it's going to do quantity. Also add a chart element for my access, the secondary vertical one. That's selected over here, type equal, and select that cell here. Press return, and then I've got my percentage of sales. If I wanted to add little labels here to indicate the, per indicate the percentage, so I know this line is the one that deals with percentage, I'll click on my line, right click, and select add data labels, and it's got my data labels here. I've got my 40%, 20%. On some of them, we see that it's a little bit hard to read, so I'll pull that one out. And I'll pull this one out. This one's a little hard to read, right? So there's some things that we can do to make it a little bit more viewable. Maybe get rid of the grid lines, select that, press delete, and those grid lines are gone. So that's the way that we can create a combo chart or a combination chart. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.